Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to session one Azure security, Azure security identity and access and demo number one Azure privilege identity management. Let me give you brief information about importance and advantages of Azure PIM. It provides a couple of capabilities including provide just in time privilege access to Azure AD and Azure resources, assign time bound access to Azure resources using start and end dates, require approval to activate privilege roles, and force multi factor authentication to activate any role, use justification to understand why user activate, get notifications when privilege roles are activated, conduct access reviews to ensure users still need roles. And finally, download audit history for internal or external audit. Let me show you one demo how to activate PIM. I'm going to click on this portal.azure.com. I automatically logged in with a default directory and I've converted that default directory into an Azure AD Premium P2 license. That is a prerequisite, prerequisites to enable premium or Azure privilege identity management and under this I'll go to search Azure PIM which is privilege identity management and first step is to click on quick start and click on consent to PIM the first step it asks you to verify my identity in this verify my identity they are doing multi-factor authentication and second step they are checking whether you are a global admin or not so by default the azure ad global admin become a default privileged identity admin as soon as you enable it so the only prerequisite to enable PIM is the person should be a global admin and the same person by default become a global admin of PIM. so i'll click on this verify my identity which is 733245 once the identity is validated via MFA then we need to enable the consent permission when I click on this directory click on again Azure AD privilege identity management quick start consent to PIM and click on consent yes so once it's done it's enabled for you and by default, the default Azure AD Global Admin I'll refresh this portal before checking whether everything is fine or not. So under my roles so quick start So you need to sign up privilege identity management for Azure AD and final yes. So how we get to know it's 100% activated. So once this is activated, when I click on Azure AD roles, by default it show me the default three roles. The default Azure AD global admin become a default Azure privilege identity admin. So that comes under my roles and under active roles. So by default, it gives you default security admin. Global admin is already there as a by default and privileged role administrator permission is also given. 
So once these three roles are showing under active roles, so this result shows yes, Azure Prem is activated for my Azure identity. Thank you very much for joining this demo.